Queen not disappointed Meghan Markle and Harry left Archie in Canada, shock royal claim. Queen Elizabeth II is not disappointed Meghan Markle and Prince Harry decided to leave their son Archie in Canada on their last working visit to the UK, royal correspondent Keir Simmons shockingly claimed. The Queen was reported to have been saddened by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision not to bring their 10-month-old son Archie Harris into the UK as they attend the last series of royal events as senior members of the royal family. Despite the reports of disappointment, today international correspondent Keir Simmons shockingly claimed Her Majesty is not complaining at all about Archie's absence because she is not big into babies. Mr Simmons said, some of the British press are trying to paint Harry and Meghan's apparent decision not to bring baby Archie here to the UK as disappointing for the Queen. I've got to tell you, that is very unlikely. Anyone who knows the biography of the Queen will know that she really isn't that into babies. I can almost guarantee she is not complaining that she isn't seeing Archie right now. When colleagues expressed some surprise over the claim, Mr. Simmons added, she's not big into babies, I promise you. As to whether or not Harry and Meghan should have brought Archie with them, my wife just said this morning, who brings a baby on a work trip? The Queen has been known to have had a rather detached approach to motherhood when she welcomed her eldest children, Prince Charles and Princess Anne. Indeed, while still a Princess of the United Kingdom, Her Majesty spent a lot of time away from her young children as she entrusted nannies to look after them. Despite the distance, further heightened after the young Princess Elizabeth was crowned in 1953, Princess Anne insisted the Queen was always caring with her and her brothers. In a 2002 BBC interview, the Princess Royal said, We as children may have not been too demanding in the sense that we understand what the limitations were in time and the responsibilities placed on her as monarch in the things she had to do and the travel she had to make. But I don't believe any of us for a second thought she didn't care for us in exactly the same way as any other mother did. Her Majesty has also been known to have had a good relationship with all her grandchildren from a very early age and her affection for the youngest members of the royal family has been passed on to her eight grandchildren. Archie, the Queen's youngest grandson, is believed not to have seen neither the Queen nor his grandfather, Prince Charles, since November last year, when the Todd was whisked away to Canada for a six-week family holiday with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Meghan and Harry chose to leave their son in Vancouver when they briefly returned to the UK in January to announce their decision to step away from their royal roles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will reunite this week for their first joint engagement since they last visited Canada House in London on the day of their announcement at the beginning of the year. Meghan Markle will join Prince Harry at the Royal Albert Hall to attend the Mountbatten Music Festival on Saturday before marking International Women's Day in what is expected to be a solo engagement on Sunday. The couple will then join other members of the royal family at Westminster Abbey for the Commonwealth Day service on March 9. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are respectively President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust and the pair have insisted they will continue to uphold the values of the Commonwealth in their future endeavours despite agreeing with the Queen they will no longer work in an official royal capacity after their departure. <laughs>